Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome. It is Friday. It is the best day. And it's also an awesome day when you got FTL and all these awesome people here. I'm going to be saying awesome a lot. I'm just going to say it right now. I am so psyched for today. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun talking about the tournament. We had one trial run and today is a couple of trial runs with some great guests, some awesome players and some hopefully not too boring casters. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, introduce everybody uh, so we know who's involved today and you all in chat can let us know if you know overlay issues or if, if there's any uh, audio or visual issues definitely let us know because this is another day where we're testing things but if this goes well we are super super ready and psyched for the actual tournament first of all i have to introduce again mr freddy z over to my left right over here joining us again to be my awesome co-caster how are you doing sir i'm doing great thank you so much for having me back really looking forward to being here and uh commentating on some FTL today. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course, we get to hang out in space. I love these overlays. We're going to be just floating around, venting ourselves as humans all day. Uh, we have an amazing, <laughs> amazing guest that a lot of you who watch FTL, I'm sure know, and that is Mr. Billy One Kirby up here. He's going to be joining us on cast as a guest and uh, commentating with us. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. It's good to be here. I'm ready to Ready to watch some FTL. Ready to it's be our, our resident expert to tell us when we would have made the wrong play. So, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it can't be an FTL tournament without our amazing players. So I'm going to introduce those one at a time. We have um, today we have Gaussman, uh, Wave Gaussman, so everyone can see you and let us know. How are you doing? Are you ready for this uh, FTL uh, matchup here? Yeah, I hope I'm ready. We'll see. <laughs> Well, hopefully the ships we pick will uh, be ships that uh, you guys can can really shine on. Yeah. And uh, sure. versus Gaussman, we have Herpix. Give us a wave and uh, say hi. How are you doing, sir? Uh, um, hey, guys. I'm uh, really looking forward to playing. And uh, I've been practicing a lot in, the, in these few days. I, I can't wait to see because... Uh, all the all you awesome players who have been practicing are going to totally blow my mind with your plays, I'm sure, because I, uh, I've i been playing FTL and getting wrecked lately, so it's going to be awesome to see hopefully some people not get wrecked because you've been practicing like crazy. <laughs> so um, uh, I believe we're going to do a pick ban. Uh, Kasalian, are we going to do this on this screen or are we going to a different screen for the pick ban? All right, so we're going to do the pick ban here. So uh, how are, we're going to do this. Uh, each of the each of us casters and our guest here, Billy Kirby, have all chosen a ship. So we'll each say what ship we have chosen. Then each player is going to get one ban, and then which doesn't whatever doesn't get banned is going to be the pick ship. So I believe I picked the Zoltan B. I believe. Okay, and then uh, how about you show yours, Freddie? What's your your pick? My pick. I picked the Lanius B as a choice. All right. And Billy Kirby, what was your ship? I picked the Slug C. All right. The Yellow Submarine. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to say, Herpix, you get the first ban. Which ship are you going to ban? Uh, Lenny was B. Okay. Going to pick one of those OP, OP picks. Uh, ban course, that one. All right. Ban, uh, <laughs> All right, Gosson, what do you got? What are you going to ban? Okay, yes, <laughs> He's going to uh, ban the same one. <laughs> no, then I'm going to ban uh, Slugsy. Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel so good, does it? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Ban the OP picks, man. Okay. So we're going with the Zoltan. Uh, that Zoltan B or Zoltan C? I can't even remember which one I said. Zoltan. I hope it's B. <laughs> it better be B, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's Zoltan yeah, B, good. right? Yeah, Zoltan B. Okay. So Zoltan B is going to be the pick ship. Um, I'm going to give you all a uh, seed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this into FTL chat. I'm going to put it in Discord chat so you all can see it, and I'm going to read it out. So let me copy-paste there. So there in the Discord, you all should see it. I'm going to type it in chat here. The seed is going to be 984 seven three five and i'm gonna type it in chat so that you in chat if you all want to play along see if you can beat the uh the players who are competing you're welcome to but that's gonna be the hyperspace seat that you all will be playing on okay and uh, i think kasalian are you checking their screens to watch if uh, our seeds are all good to go and ships ready 
Okay. All right. Well, before we before we jump into the game, Herpix and Gaussman, do either of you all have any preparatory words you want to say as you get ready to go into this match? Uh, good luck. Good luck, yeah. <laughs> G -G 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 -L -H -F, right? always, G -G. Always. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm looking not, forward to this. I would ask Mexico, how many Mantises, so. uh, how many Zoltans they plan on losing to Mantises, but I don't want to curse them, so let's just let's just get to it. <laughs> How many humans will you vent? That's the real question. <laughs> How many vented humans will there be? Um, I guess as we're waiting also, Billy Kirby, uh, do you have any uh, insights into the Zoltan B that you like for this ship and the way it starts out? Um, it's a pretty nice ship to start out with. There's not really any ships early on that can, can usually cause you any problems. You don't have a level of shield, technically, but it's, it's stored there, so it's very nice. Um, but I mean, like you can you can struggle through even sector four with the weapon setup if you if you just don't find anything at all. It's just not pleasant to do so. That Zoltan shield lets you get away with quite a lot, for sure. Totally agree. I love I love the I love double ion beam setup. I think this is the only ship that actually starts with double ion beam. So uh, sometimes can be bad, but it's kind of fun early early game. It's pretty All right. strong early game, yeah. It is. And then you hit sector. Oh, cut uh, out a little bit there. Yeah, muted. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Kasalian, you can let me know. I think, are the players muted? Are we ready to go with seeds and everything? Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm 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 being uh, talked to by Casalian in my ear. Uh, I am just going to ask the players don't move anything around on your screen uh, because that will be captured. And uh, we are about ready. So I see, I see uh, seeds entered. I see Zoltan B. So if we're about ready, I'm going to do a countdown to get this thing started. So let me go into the right Discord channel here. I'm going to do three, two, one, and then. On your marks, you'll be ready to go. So here we go. Three, two, one, go, my friends. All right, here we go. I am super psyched. Two Zelton B players. Gossman manning the doors already. Oh, jump one asteroid field, which you always love to see with only a Zelton shield. Oh, Herpix got the fight, and uh, Gossman did not. Interesting. Okay. All right. Right. Oh man, maybe, that's maybe it was they went in a different order. That's a beam drone and asteroid field. That's a really rough start. This might be a restart, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, uh, Freddie, we had this discussion of what what was it the early early ship that you are always afraid of? Was it the shield hack one? Is that the one? They're looking all right. Okay, all right. Herpix got through the fight. He's got no shields currently. Well, that's to be expected when you only have level one shield bar to start on this ship. Okay, all right. Well, Herpix survived. Only six damage, you know? No big deal. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that, is that a double, is that a fire indoors for Gaussman? That's, that's really rough. But he is he is recovering, so they both got the kill on the ship. That's a that's a pretty good start with an asteroid field jump one, I will say. Yeah, definitely. So Billy, you you've done some streaking, right? Have you done some streaking with FTO? Yeah, uh, the best win streak I ever did was sixty-seven and zero. Um, with that was with pause. With pause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the way that I typically do my runs is like very slow kind of tutorial commentary kind of stuff explaining mm -hmm. all my decisions. So that takes hundreds of hours to get that many wins <laughs> in a row. <laughs> Especially when you're playing slow to make sure people know your plays. But I like it because that's right. I think that's one of the great things about streaming FTLs. You can, you know, kind of show newer players how to get their first win if they have never gotten a win in on this tough game. Right. And there's so many nuances to so many decisions and just like so much decision making in the game that like you know trying to not just like show people like what to do but like why you're doing it, mm -hmm. it can really kind of like unlock unlock some good skills for players and that's kind of what i like to do 
Well, yeah, and one thing that's great about both these players is, unfortunately, they got an Ashford Field and her Solar Flare Sector 1, which is pretty unlucky. But they both did a really good job of ioning weapons and keeping uh, keeping the first laser to heavy laser their opponent down, which is really good early game to to minimize damage. Okay. Yep. Okay. So it looks like we lost Freddy's audio, but he's looking good there. Okay. He's been, he's been vented. We have vented Freddy for a moment. <laughs> uh, but all right, we got a. Early missile ships. What I will say about Zoltan B, I was kind about you're a little at least protected from early missile ships. So, yeah, very much. They're both doing like the right thing where they're like kind of starting off with double targeting weapons because mm -hmm. like that first ion shot, you you can just you can fire right away and mm -hmm. like you'll as long as you hit, uh, then your pike beam gets to gets to do the damage. It's a good really good strat because it's easy to just like want to double target shields because you mm -hmm. know you want to take shields down. I make that mistake. Yeah. Hits, yeah, if you get both hits, targeting those uh, both on the weapons is definitely the way to go. Saves a ton of damage over the course of the run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what the one thing everybody on my stream knows that I whine about all the time is freaking missiles. Missiles and FTL are just the biggest pain in the arse. And so this, this Zoltan shield helping to protect from early damage can really help. Although we've got another asteroid field. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... Uh, Freddie, you, you back with us, sir? <laughs> I hope so. Am I on? <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of therapy. One, two. Venting. Can you hear me in space? Right. Okay. I'm, I, I can hear you. It's Mars. a little desynced, but I hear you for sure. Okay. I, I might, uh, I might need to get Freddie to do the next uh, seed because apparently I chose the seed with all the asteroid fields and all the solar flares. <laughs> oh man! One. Wow, another. Jeez. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, it's all right. It's not. It's not too dangerous. It's I, nice of them to not have any shields on the drone ship in that particular asteroid field. Yeah, yeah. Well, the first one had a had an offensive drone. I don't think this one did. But still, this is <laughs> this is a rough sector one. <laughs> no fire in the doors, no fire in the O2 yet. That's good news in these asteroid fields. And I will say, with how tough this uh, first sector is, both players are doing a really good job dealing with it because that can that can end a lot of runs early. Just getting offensive beam drones to take your shield down really quick in co uh, combination with uh, asteroid fields are really rough early game. Yeah. All right. The uh, problem I find with this ship is the thing you, you this you know every ship has their squishy uh, thing you got to watch out for. This one is borders mm -hmm. and those doors and that O2 going down at the same time with some bad mantis borders. I do like to you know if, if you have the money, especially in a race situation, it'd be nice to get a clone bay here just to, mm -hmm. in case there's some emergencies. You know that's my strategy on it you get sure. do you get clone bay before that uh, first shield bar no no there okay. there are other priorities but it is something i'm on the lookout for yeah okay all right so ng or mantis looks like ng is always my favorite <laughs> i love ng's too i've been i've been not uh not taking them recently just because uh, unless uh, unless i need a store because of the uh, the amount of score gained by uh, the extra ship fights in something like a Mantis. But Mantis is dangerous on this ship, because mm -hmm. like Freddy said, borders are a pain, and so are fires. Any, any ship that has doors nearby oxygen, it can end in catastrophic failure. Yeah, the thing about a... the doors on this ship is, the doors are where you need to vent, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> it's like... Like if you want to get your borders out, you got to vent the doors room to get the borders out of the O2. But that's where you need to stand to stop the borders from destroying your ship. So it's you're in exactly. a catch twenty two, catch yeah. twenty two terrible, against borders terrible door here. situation. Yeah, I mean you could have a Lanius, or you could just put a human in there and then not care, <laughs> right? That's, <good. laughs> that's right. Just give him some emergency respirators. He'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, those early pirate uh, slug cruisers. Thankfully, the weapons are pretty weak, but uh, early early cloaking plus shields can be a pain against double ions. I hate cloaking against double ions. That's like the counter a lot of the time. Yes, it is definitely very annoying to deal with. 
Right, we're in sector two right now. Is that right? Sector two did uh, did Gaussman also take the NG? I didn't notice because I know that Herpix is in the NG sector. Smartly, I would guess he didn't go to uh, Mantis because of <laughs> the scariness of red beings being on your ship out, out of nowhere. Well, they both picked up a human, right? Kirby, it looks like. And yep. having a human on the ship feels like an NG a lot of times because just somebody extra with a little more. A little more oomph is nice. Yeah. Yep. And, yep. and to free that power out of piloting, for sure. Exactly. Okay, they are both in NG. Okay, so looks like Gaussman was debating going to that store. He's only got 35 scrap. There's He does have a Pegasus to sell, but not a lot of scrap for a store yet. Pegasus is a good sell. I would consider going just... The thing, uh, I don't know, maybe Billy has some insight here. I, and and this is true on a lot of ships, this ship does really nicely if you find a heavy laser Mark I. It's already online. You can get it online with the other weapons easily, and it just gives you a lot of extra firepower very cheaply. It is really good. Yeah, getting and a I heavy know that's laser your favorite weapon, weapon, right? It is. Absolutely, <laughs> it is. Oh, yep. and Gaussman, I think, just got a free heavy laser Mark II, I think. A little more expensive. Ooh, oh, that's black one, halberd being black, black and one. a halberd. <laughs> you can oh, see Gaussman. God. He's like, oh, what do I do? There's too yeah, many good choices. There's a <laughs> lot of good choices. Hackings here too. Oh. Yeah, this is this is that store where I say I want everything. I want it all. <laughs> Let's see what he goes. I'm definitely, with I'm definitely eyeballing that flag if I'm him, and then mm -hmm. probably that, probably that halberd. Oh, he went with he went with the uh, hacking. Also, not a bad choice. But yeah. He needs a little more DPS, I think. Maybe he's planning on getting that heavy two, heavy two hacking and uh, pipe beam would be a great combo. Yep, for sure. Um, he, I still see. Did he sell? Did he sell and not get a weapon? Because I don't see a flak on his bar right now. What did he choose to do? He sees he he has the heavy laser two in storage. Still, okay, I okay. Think. Herpix took the flak. Herpix is my kind of flak player yeah. right there. <laughs> That's my kind of guy. <laughs> I see flak, I buy flak. <laughs> and he flak sold one, both anyway. ions too. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, so he's that, going... that actually, that probably would have been my play there. And actually. the halberd yeah. beam. So with, yeah, with flak, Ooh. pike, halberd beam, he's one beam away from one-shotting the flagship. Um, So that's really good. And uh, and he's got the flak and the pike. That's really good. Yeah. They're both good setups. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to guess Gaussman's going to work towards getting the heavy laser with the ion blast is what I'm guessing he's going to do next. Uh, power's pretty light for Gaussman, though. Uh, he's keeping that Zoltan on doors. He is sticking with the uh, the door Zoltan. Most useful Zoltan ever, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, I know there are certain tournament directors who really prefer this beam setup. I've been toying and practicing with beams <laughs> and um you know they're they're fine they're fine i do I, i've been doing pretty well with the lasers and uh myself i have you have you been, guys been practicing with the point system and time and how you do beams versus lasers they're both they're both really effective i mean of course with with a beam heavy setup hacking is way better mm -hmm. um but uh but there's something that's just always so satisfying about lasers like just hearing heavy lasers just pop, like pop, smash pop. into the enemy mm -hmm. ship is nothing Nothing quite like it, of course. I think the, uh, you know, my favorite weapon loadout is actually two flax, two heavy lasers, Mark One, because it's so really? fast. Really? Yeah. Even yeah. over halberd beams and that kind over, of thing. Over halberd. It's the, it's the most DPS. You, you can take a Four pretty power. trashy ship to the flagship with a double flak, double heavy, and you will do quite well with it. Yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. I agree 100%, Fred. Okay, Zoltan Homeworlds we got in her picks. So, you know. He's already got a Zoltan shield, so why not add a second Zoltan shield to your Zoltan shield? Right. Um, I don't think uh, we've gotten long range scanners on either uh, uh, on either ship. Have you all found in your practice that long range scanners is a big factor in maximizing your score because of just extra ship fights giving you extra scrap? I mean, it's definitely an advantage, but I mean, in my practice runs personally, I think maybe uh, like, you know, 5% of them have even seen a long range scanner before sector seven or something like really? that. So yeah, just haven't been turning super lucky rare, huh? Turn in yeah. rare, rare augment for the, uh, for their practice runs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
I think it's it's a little bit of a luxury item. I get a lot of um, flack, as we say, from chat. <laughs> there you go. You, oh, my chat will you, love that pun. They'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> when you uh, when I skip the long range scanners, uh, they're good, but they're, I don't think they're on the pedestal that everyone quite puts them on. Okay. Okay. Uh, did oh. Herpix dive? Because Gossman's doing a getting a couple extra jumps here for a dive. I think he, I, I don't, I think Herpix might have dived once or did he avoid the dive? Cause I did see yeah, there was a dive, dive. It looked like a dive upcoming. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. I, like one thing that we're, we're seeing right now with the choices that Herpix made, he didn't get the hacking, but because he got that Ooh. flak, uh, that flak halberd now and before the flak pike, he's DPSing a little bit faster cause he's mm -hmm. not just relying on the pike beam. So he's kind of getting along quicker. This, uh, think, this ship is pretty rough though. Yeah, yeah, this, this double is drone fight. is less than ideal. I think hacking. Um, well, I'm not saying it was the wrong fire choice. by the doors. I think the hacking. Well, I'm not saying it was you know a, a bad choice. You definitely don't want to get it too early a lot of times because it mm -hmm. doesn't do you a lot of good if you don't have the the damage to back it up. Yeah, it's an investment for your future, and sometimes <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> sometimes you don't get there. Ooh, a free chain laser for Gaussman. That'll at least sell for some okay. money, or he could use it. Because he, yeah, because did he sell the heavy laser, or has he still got that in his uh, in his cargo bay? I thought he, he must. I thought he still had it. Her, uh, yeah, I thought I thought he still had it as well. Because if not, he's looking at double ion blast pike beam against two shields. That's pretty slow and inconsistent to get shields down, I would say. Well, with the hacking, it, he's going to be all right because he's got twenty one drones. Like, and this That's is a good. True. This is a pretty good dive here too i think um like he upgraded his engines to three which mm -hmm. is which is wh what you need that way as long as you're piloting and engines don't get hit you'll only have to get fired at by one asb shot Ooh, and he dodged, dodged it oh wow, that's, so that's some that's some good rng right there yeah it's very good uh venting venting you know freddy earlier was the uh, human sacrifice to rng jesus to give him that dodge right <laughs> yeah Hey, good job, human. I mean, he's in the piloting, you know, doing a little dodging. Oh, okay. Herpeaks decided to not take the pull the ship in closer event. Uh, what is that? A one in three to lose crew? One in four? Or something. Only like that? one in four. Okay. One in four, but like the positives are like a heal bomb or small scrap reward. It's not. I don't think it's ever really worth. You don't it. think it's worth the the risk of crew? Nah. Not usually, unless I have a ship with just humans on it, because it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you got three Zoltans and a human, you really can't lose any of that crew, that's for sure. Interesting here. Herpix has his level two shields, but not quite. Eh, he kind of has power for it if he depowers O2. And then Gaussman mm -hmm. actually went with the three engines instead, of, I guess, because that dive. Because of that dive, yeah. He's still on level two shield or level one, one shield bubble. Well, I will say a common problem with this ship is uh, all Zoltan ships power like we're we're really having a hard time powering all of our systems on both these maybe not quite as bad as elton c right and <laughs> i know ironically <laughs> right i think i had somebody on my stream yesterday say uh i am getting what did they say i'm getting anxiety from the lack of power on your ship and uh <laughs> i'm getting kind of the same feeling here a little anxiety not be able to get shields and weapons up on both these ships right now yeah, it requires a, a lot of extra micro having the having significantly less power. But I mean, if it means, yeah, sometimes it's just worth it. You know, you can get the power later as long as you can ba keep the bare minimum online. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a risk, though. Yeah, one thing I've been practicing lately on my Harbo no pause runs is using hotkeys for power, moving power out of O2 into shields into engines. Is that something that Billy and Freddie, you guys have do and use and practice? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a must. If you're going to reach a high level and hope to com to um, compete at a higher level, then you need to be able to do that because the scrap you have today is worth more than the scrap you'll get tomorrow. And if you can conserve a little bit of money and not overinvest in power, then maybe you can buy a flak or something hacking or something at that store. Exactly. Yeah. Investing 20 scrap in a bar of power and then like ending up, you know, mm. making two jumps later, you see a flak for sale in a store. Like you say, mm -hmm. it's, it's that, that Speaking wins, of, loses, runs. 
Gaussman's looking at one there. He he moused over and frustratingly. That's another store with flag one mouth. halberd another beam. Flag, another flag <laughs> halberd store. He he wiggled his mouse cursor over the flag in frustration because he <laughs> don't think he has the money to buy it here. Yeah, moving on. A little bit frustrating there. Initially, I thought this was a bad seed because of all those uh, hazards, but now I'm like, man, I want this seed for all the halberds and flak beam, or yeah. flax. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, you could just sell your Zoltan shields. I've been known to do that too. That gets a lot of that gets it gets a lot of uh, a lot of flack there muffled. too. Yeah, yeah, I've done it before. <laughs> I think I've done that once in the last year, and I I felt my soul crumble a little bit when I sold that Zoltan shield. <laughs> I do I do it to make everyone mad at me, and I I just know it's the right play, you know, and it's enjoyable. <laughs> If you're making chat mad at you, you know it's the right play. You know like you're doing that. it right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Zoltan Shield, Smolten Shield. <laughs> uh, all right. So, honestly, both players looking pretty decent. Weapon system, well, we got Heavy Laser 2 Pike Beam hacking with Gaussman, which is pretty strong. I would say his, his defense is a little light right now. He's trying to make do with that higher dodge to keep his Zoltan Shield online, but his offense is looking strong. And uh, Herpix, no hacking, but he's got that flak halberd beam. Ooh, missile into the weapons, the bane of my existence. Yeah, that's not ideal. The hull is looking a little bit squishy. Uh, we're not quite into the danger zone, but we're <laughs> getting close. Herpix and getting is, close. I think that's Zoltan Border Police that Herpix is dealing with, one of the worst events. He loses yeah, that's two. a rough one. No. Okay. Everyone's alive. That's Okay, and we got borders for oh. our casters now. So we're not vented anymore. <laughs> I'm in a box. <laughs> oh, man, that was a pretty tough event for her picks, though. I think that Zoltan Border Police plus... Uh, thankfully, the weapons weren't stronger, but that missile into the weapons made him take a lot more damage. So he's looking at 11 health right now. It's a little sketchy. Hey, it's 10 more than you need. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Does he have he that store coming any... up? Didn't lose any crew, so I mean, if you're if you're facing off with Zoltan Border Police and you didn't lose anyone, that's a pretty good result. Yeah, I think I think you're right, uh, Billy. I think Herpix might. I think he actually skipped that store. I think he might have oh, gone okay. around it. Uh, he might need it just for repairs if he uh, if he runs into a couple more fights like that, though. Honestly, Gaussman, both these players moving right along pretty quickly. I'm, a, yeah. I'm pretty impressed, impressed with how they're playing. Gaussman's got his second shield, so I'm already feeling uh, a little more comfortable with his build because he's got that hacking, he's got some weapons and defense. So uh, I'm liking that. Now he's he's invested in the future, and the future is here. His uh, <laughs> his hacking is gonna pull a lot of weight here, I would say. Yeah, he's got a he's got a pretty nice build, and and looking back on it, maybe hacking was the right choice. Uh, <laughs> looking back at it from this time, you know. <laughs> well, that that hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, which sector did they choose? I think I, I missed it. Which sector are they in now? Herpix just came in. They're pretty close run wise. Okay. That's another NG, NG sector that they're both yeah. in. Okay. NGs are very friendly. They don't care about, they just want universe stability. So, they're like, have a bunch of free strap yeah. free stuff. Herpix Herpix now in, Herpix is officially in the danger zone. Okay. Well, you yeah. made it to the store, store though. Yeah. Another, another flag. <laughs> oh man! Flackening win. <laughs> I know they could have had the full flackening. Uh, my chat is probably going to go crazy that we didn't see a full flackening on this run. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad. It's too bad I'm not racing this scene because I would have had the the three flags if not looking for a fourth <laughs> at this point. Uh, okay. Well, Herpix is a little less danger zone. He spent all of his scrap to get. Basically repairs, it looks like. And hacking. Um, he picked up hacking. Oh, he did get the hacking. Okay, great. Gaussman was uh, shaking his head a little bit. I think he was hoping to get the one shot there. I'm not sure what was going on quite. Get some dodges or something. Kept his heavy laser from finishing off, maybe. Yeah, I'm you not know. seeing any any cheeky swipes on the on the beam weapons. The five room hits on these rebel ships. You can get five, five room hits instead of four. Oh, okay. Can you explain the uh, cheeky swipe on these ships? Yeah, essentially what you do is like you place the beam between either shields and where the med bay would be or weapons and oxygen or, or, or whatever, like between those two rooms. And then you do it like 
horizontally so that it okay. like kind of goes goes through to the uh, other side of the ship and just the way that the game like determines how rooms are hit you can hit five rooms instead of four you can also do this against a flagship and get 10 damage swipes with halberd beams against okay. the flagship um i believe uh scott wendy wilson does a lot of the cheeky swipes is that right um I can't. Uh, I'm. I'm sure that Scott has done them. I don't know who. Uh, I, th- I remember who, uh, f- like, invented it or what figured it out yeah. that, it, that invented, it works. Like, like the Masala maneuver named after Masala Swage or whatever. I don't sure. know who invented the cheeky swipe. Yeah, I should yeah. know, but I don't. I can't think of it offhand. <laughs> we'll have to do some FTL research too. Yeah, to for sure. Name the cheeky swipe after. I don't know, Lethal Frag or Dolphin Chemist or whoever figured it out, you know. <laughs> that sounds like a Scott onesie phrase too. It does, it does kind of sound like it's, it I know I've heard him very, say, it all right. sounds very Australian to me. I don't know about you, but <laughs> Okay. All right. So looks like Gaussman is I think it actually might have been Masala, by the way. <laughs> Was it Masala came up with all of these cheeky maneuvers, it sounds like. <laughs> Because uh, the the missile maneuver, for those who don't know, is of course hacking weapons and mind controlling the character in the weapons, and then shooting the weapons. Basically, something you can do with the uh, was it the slug C that you can do that with. Gaussman uh, does have the long range scanners in this store here. I wonder if he'll go Ooh. for them. Oh, he's eyeballing it. He is. Point. Okay. There, it is. there we go. And the backup battery. I like the backup battery pickup. Yeah, not bad. He's got a good ship. We're making good time here too. I. You know, in my trial runs, I've been doing a good run is about low, like 44, 45 minutes. That's a very good run. Mm-hmm. A solid run is in the low 50s. And um, yeah, they're definitely on pace to have that kind of run. Yeah. Uh, Halfway you know, through the sector four. The sector is a really good run. Ooh, free sure. NG. Love that free NG. So yeah, middle sector four, 24 minutes. They're definitely playing faster than I are. Uh, Billy, are you a pretty fast FTL player when you're practicing for these, or you like to go slow? You said earlier, I, I right? yeah, it's it's weird. Like uh, I have a really hard time keeping these runs under an hour uh, right now in my practice stuff. Like I like in a, in a normal run, I would be taking two to four hours in a run, uh, mm. and if I if I speed run, then I keep them on really short but it's just a whole different game when you're doing uh, speed run stuff you know you don't care about consistency because you just you know for every win you have 100 losses basically because mm-hmm. you're just you're just going through as quickly as possible and just assuming that everything's going to be fine so there's a lot of flagship fights with one shield kind of a thing uh you know you just uh, you get hacking you get a weapon set up that one shots the flagship and you just uh cross your fingers basically and I believe, I think Kassalian told me, don't you have the world record for speed running without pre-igniter? Is that right? I do on the Zoltan A, yeah. I just had a okay. couple of auto reloaders, and sometimes that's all you need. Uh, thir- yeah, 13 minutes, two seconds on that one. Pretty, that's 13 pretty minutes, two seconds. God. Oh, like uh, my mind is exploded thinking of winning an FTL run that quickly. Is that, that's on easy, I assume, right? Correct, yes. For, for speed yeah. running? Okay. Yeah, the extra scrap that you get is is uh, quite pleasant. Not to mention the flagship it has less uh, shields. Mm-hmm. And when did you sell your Zoltan shields in that uh, speed run? <laughs> no, I didn't. Didn't have to sell them. If you, yeah, that's definitely not something you want to do in a speed run. That's the only <laughs> thing keeping you alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing in a speed run like that, you're you're relying on your Zoltan shields protecting you from a lot of the offense early game, right? Exactly. Yep, it's super duper important. Perpik's doing a strategic pause here. I haven't seen a lot of that, but uh, he is taking advantage. Pause you are free to, free to times, pause yeah. in this in this format. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which yeah. I, actually I've been not pausing for so long that that uh, it's hard to force yourself. Pausing is yeah, it's hard to remember. I can pause and not lose this guy to Amanda's. Oh right, right. Sure, sure. Good, good decision. I will say also, Herpix has gotten a couple free crew. I think he got a free NG and a free Zoltan. And crew on this ship, like you were talking about earlier, uh, Freddie, is a big weakness. So that's a big help when you're getting boarded by random mantids and Zoltan border police. They both have very similar ships. Her picks does have the hacking now, as well as Gaussman's had it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Weapons are uh, similar, not exactly the same, but both strong loadouts. Shields and engines are very similar. Um, 
Harpix has a little bit of a crew advantage, and they're both moving along at a fast pace. It's an extremely competitive match here, which is fun yeah. to see. Yeah. Yeah, some great some great beam swipes, some great shot placement from Gaussman. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing with that heavy laser too. That both setups are working uh working pretty good. Yeah, Gaussman did a great job with that uh hacking bypass against the what was it, the three shield NG ship with three defensive drones. Always a fun one to sneak your <laughs> hacking drone by. Yep, for sure. It can be it can be pretty tricky. <laughs> okay, Herpix. I do like his, uh, I, honestly, I kind of like the Flak Halberd with hacking slightly better than the Pike Beam Heavy Laser 2, just because there's no dodging a Halberd Beam. And so with hacking, I do like, I feel like you said earlier, Freddie, his DPS is a little higher with that, possibly. Yeah, the, the nice thing about Halberd is, is even if somehow you mistime it or your hacking maybe takes a Leto missile and you can't get through the full shielding, uh, as long as you get them down to one shield bubble, you know, a swipe will still get through. And if you damage enough systems, you're set up to come th come up through with a follow-up volley, which mm -hmm. is what's nice about the flag. That Gaussman's kind of missing that that volley where he, he really has to wait on that hacking, whereas Herpix doesn't, which mm -hmm. can really help speed you up. And defensively, we're pretty, yeah. We're pretty evenly matched. This is honestly, it's pretty amazing to me. Both both trial runs we've had have been really close. I think on the previous one, Pie Boy was a little bit faster. This one, we're kind of neck and neck where they're placed in the uh, sectors right now. Getting close to sector five, I believe, right now. And yeah, this player is very competent here. Mm hmm. One thing that's really working out super great for Gosman, and it could save him damage in the long run. That heavy laser two uh, just. Com all that extra damage into a single room can can like save uh, save on damage, and it's like he's really messing True. up their weapons They're like really bad. So they get basically the enemies get one volley, and that's it. They get mm -hmm. one, and the Zoltan shield absorbs most of it. So mm -hmm. they, yeah, they get one volley that doesn't do a lot. Yeah, he'll take advantage. You know, Gaussman here. Yep, heavy laser yep. into the uh, yep. weapons room. One strategy you could employ as well, even with a pike beam. It's almost nice to swipe first you get damage on multiple rooms and what that does is it forces the pilot off of piloting and the mm -hmm. ship dodge goes down to almost zero and then that way because you're limited volley you follow up after you swipe and then whoop, you're almost guaranteed to hit the weapons yeah yep. and uh looks like her piece has got a store with another halberd beam i would think that's a little greedy I'm kind of looking at the mind control or the clone bay myself. It's greedy. Click it. I, I would definitely buy the <laughs> Halberd beam here. Double yes. Halberd, oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, there he goes. Commit that's, to it. that's a one shot against the flagship. It so. is. He's yep. committing to the double beam. I know that's going to make someone happy who's listening. I know. <laughs> there it is in chat. Cast Alien says, nice. <laughs> Double Halberd. Where's the third one? I need three. Where's, the, just... where's the third and fourth Halberd? Where's the pre-igniter, four Halberd, and Sven Maneuver Halberd? Halberding. <laughs> the like Halberding, that's it. right. <laughs> Halberds. Sadly, I'm pretty sure we banned Sven Maneuver. So I think that is that the one thing we did ban from the tournament, I think, for uh cheeky maneuvers, I think. Oh, I don't know. I that one I wasn't even paying much attention to because i didn't plan on using it anyway i mean that's so specific you mean that the the uh pre-igniter um, yeah the, the yeah. Pre you double pre-ignite more weapon power than you should be able to oh yeah, it's not, not banned we're hearing it's, it's not banned okay okay, okay. well i guess someone, the trade-off is how slow it is right if someone can win with that right. and they beat me with that god bless them i <laughs> right. I, I fully endorse it yeah pretty slim chances I would say. Yeah, you have to have a very specific setup and a lot of scrap to have and that much weapon power. It's too honestly. much money to get online to be of any use. Yeah, yeah exactly. I love. <laughs> I love. Take the time. I love seeing this double halberd beam right now from Herpix. It's definitely <laughs> yeah. very pleasant. It's like a better stealth B. You know, I was like, oh, glaive beam. How about let's do it faster and one shot everybody. Uh, just get a preignite and he's and he's golden. You know, he's he's got a great setup here. And, uh, this <laughs> is drone the, ship. <laughs> the famous concede ship it's not an asteroid the field cross but... swipe. <laughs> at least, at least, yeah at least he's not in an asteroid field whoever designed whatever uh whatever rebel designed this they need to go back to design school <laughs> uh, space yeah, engineering gonna... was not for them 
he's going to be flying through with that double halberd beam. That's very true. With that hacking double halberd, he is, oh, he's just about boss ready, honestly. Yeah. Let's get some defenses going. Both have mastery and weapons. If Herpix picks up a pre igniter or even an auto reloader, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be just that much faster. Now, here's one question I have for you guys. I sometimes value pre igniter less when I have hacking because I have to wait for the hacking to come through. What are your thoughts on pre igniter with hacking? synergy yeah i um i mean it a lot of times just depends on the weapon setup um because mm -hmm. like you say you're having to wait for the hacking anyway um and it, but if you have a weapon setup that uh that is it is ready to fire and doesn't need hacking or mm -hmm. it, that you just need want to hack piloting like if you have four flax and a pre-igniter that's not mm -hmm. like a great example i guess but like you can just hack piloting and fire immediately and then just then then you know that all 12 hits are going to make it Pre-igniter sounds cool. It's not that great. Somehow, in the meantime, during um, all of this, uh, Gaussman has showed up with cloaking and mind control, oh. as well as hacking. Oh, yeah. He has a monster ship. Those are those are the three OP systems that I always try to get. That is... He might not have the double halberd. See him, I would love to see him end up with a uh, clone bay as well. I think now's the time where you could think about investing in that to save time and healing and protect your crew and uh Although what he, he kind of needs right like now is another... just fuel <laughs> he's kind of out of fuel yeah a little gas moment. might be good <laughs> stop by the gas station and, and and pick up a clone bay while he's there need a little space gas and an ice cream at the gas station <laughs> oh he actually turned down the two fuel deal he is i i think he might have a store though so he might be banking on that store having hopefully more than three fuel sitting in the in the tank he's got there. A, yeah he's got a store coming up one thing i've noticed in my testing and practice runs is that uh fuel does tend to stay pretty low because you're not taking the high fuel deals you want to get a mm -hmm. high score which means you need to kill ships which means you're not taking some fuel deals whereas maybe if you're just streaking or playing casually you would right so fuel is at a premium these runs you are i guess that's probably similar to speed running you are not taking high scrap deals because you're trying to get through the game as quickly as possible. So you're often, are you, when you speed run Billy Kirby, is, is fuel an issue usually for you? It, it is an issue. I mean, Thomas, Thomas Peterson has the world record on the stealth B for the fastest time. And he ran out of fuel on that world mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's like, it gets really close. <laughs> you just got to ride that it. edge, I guess, with fuel. Yeah. I find it frustrating when you're low on fuel, you go to the store and it's got three. Yes. <laughs> yep. it's, it's, this is this store is an outpost in the middle of space where there's not much around and, and it's just got three fuel. I mean, they're not going <laughs> to stock up on something that important. You know? No, no, no. Yeah. It's like when you go to this gas station on a, on a, you know, road trip, it's like, well, we're, yeah, we have a we'll little gas a couple gallons. Good luck. <laughs> But that's all we can spare. I'm sorry. We're a gas station, but we don't carry that much gas. I don't know what you're thinking this is. All right. Oh, uh, Herpix got awesome. level three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Level three hacking. Uh, they're in sector, I think they're sector six. So I guess he's thinking, uh, yeah, he's coming up on sector seven and the four shield ship soon. Uh, honestly, that's a little early to me to get level three hacking when he doesn't have level three shields. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, he has two halberds and a pike. So, I mean, that's the one <laughs> That's the one thing that would be annoying is a four shielded ship. And it's not true. anymore, it's not. That's very true. Galsman's uh, ship is, uh, he's, move, he's moving right along. Had a ton of money for that store, looking very healthy now. Um, yeah, they are so close. They are so close. I think they're both halfway through civilian sector uh, six right now. All right, so hacking. Wow, that he's already at eight power weapons. No wonder he is uh, delaying his yeah. defense. He has oh. gone all in on the offense. Herpix accidentally, I think, hacked level one instead of two there, mm -hmm. which is uh, unfortunate. Yeah, kind of that very, low very power small. situation. But you can see him rolling his eyes on camera, like, ooh, that that's a costly mistake there. This is great to see their reactions. I love being able to see their faces as they make these plays. That's really great. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, we're seeing Gaussman having a hard time getting through shields. It's a lot slower with his heavy laser ion blast pike beam than that double double halberd beam. But he has invested in the uh, in the engine, so his defense is looking a little bit stronger. I would say. Yeah. 
And of course, the cloaking mind control. A little free emergency respirators never hurt nobody. Are they at the same jump at the that same time? That was the time? same they jump, are. yes. Oh my gosh. What <laughs> a race. Amazing. Yeah. I, I it's funny. I, I don't know who's going to win because I like Gaussman systems, but I like Herpix's weapons better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be one of those where it's going to come down to just who got a little bit luckier with scrap gains. Cause timing wise, if they kill the boss at about the same time, they are, they're looking neck and neck on the time right now. Here comes the triple beam swipe from Herpix. Just going to one shot this guy. Yeah. Gaussman's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gaussman's hack drone did get shot by that anti-drone drone, but 50-50 uh, chance whether or not it gets destroyed. And oh, it did not. was it 50-50 with the ion? Yeah. Okay. I always wondered. I didn't know if there was a set chance for it being destroyed from the ion shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 50-50 yeah, from what it's I understand. It's half a chance. Yeah, when, okay. a, when a drone takes ion damage, it's half a chance. Yeah. Okay. I guess the uh, counterplay to that is if you happen to notice it quickly enough, you can actually deep power right before the ion hits it and it doesn't take the ion, correct? Exactly. That works okay. with combat drones as well, or, or okay. B drone, whatever, any any like offensive drone. Okay. It should be in in my mind, if the ion's coming from the anti drone drone, it should it should just blow up, but yeah. Maybe, maybe that would make that thing of some use other than vendor <laughs> trash for seventy dollars. Yeah, it would be it would be really strong if it always destroyed them, yeah. For the player and the AI. Mm -hmm. Now, what I haven't noticed is I feel like Herpix, Gaussman 2, they have a lot of drone parts. I They haven't been buying drone parts, have they? Are just, they just lucky that they've been having this many drone parts this run? I think this ship, I funny enough, I, I we talked about it like way back in Sector 1 or when they first got hacking. I think the ship starts with some drones, like a weird high number of drones despite not having Does a it system really? for them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what the starting drone number is on it, but uh, they might have gotten some of those events where they the people want you to bring the drone somewhere too. I I, uh, didn't, I didn't really notice, and then you just don't just don't do it. You yeah, know? you just, just go. Oh, thanks for, for the drones. <laughs> yep. All right. So it starts. Okay, is... the ship does start with two drones. I did check real quick, but so not Wait, a so lot. It's only two. Couple. Okay. No. So they've either had really good RNG or um, just some good events that gave them some drone parts. Yep. Oh, okay. Under construction flagship. Oh, so we got Rebel uh, Rebel yeah. Stronghold for her picks. Yeah, I love the mini flagship uh, event. It's my my favorite event in the game. Yeah. Herpix is already at the flagship. That's amazing. <laughs> phase three of the fat. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's phase All three. Right, well, GG <laughs> time. 40 minutes. New world record. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, oh it's, it's a free glaive beam. Oh, yeah, he, got he got a glaive beam. He got a free glaive beam. Nice. Now we can really <laughs> beam just, it up. Which <laughs> beam do I like, use? You know, <laughs> Finn Maneuver win. Finn Maneuver win. Uh, well, well we, if he finds uh, pre igniter. We have potential Sven maneuver if he wants to go crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. If only he could purchase uh, about eight more weapon upgrades. He could get all his weapons online. I know, right? We just needed a little casual 15 power in weapons. Hey, yeah. there's a cheeky swipe. There's a couple cheeky swipes from Herpix there, I think. Oh, I wasn't looking. Uh, that sideways swipe. It was the same uh, layout that Gaussman's looking at. So I think he might okay. have actually done that with a halberd. Well, he doesn't even need to be too cheeky because his. Loadout's a one shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got okay. Now he's got the big systems here. He's got there cloaking. You go. Well, yeah. Still doesn't have mind control. No mind control. But, and his crew's uh, squishy. He does have a rock, uh, the human, but the other crew are Zoltans and NGs. No mind control, no clone bay. Uh mm -hmm. that's the other nice thing about clone bay. I keep talking about it, but it's a good substitution on the flagship for phase three, if you don't have mind control to counter their mind control, mm -hmm. the clone bay is so much stronger than the med bay. Ooh, that's triple drones. Oh, look gonna, at her picks. He's got the pause. ready though. Okay. Yeah, this ship shouldn't be a problem. For, ooh, don't ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, just barely. <laughs> <laughs> the clincher. Yeah, that 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 was like instantaneous Zoltan shield removal with the the triple drones there. So I was I was I was clenching a little bit for that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes enemy drones get so aggressive. It is this really is where, nasty. Uh, Gaussman, you know, he's got the better systems with the mind control, but his weapons are starting to fall off here, especially compared to Herpix. 
or the early investments in weapons Mm -hmm. is now paying off, whereas Gaussman's going to be doing two or three shield hacks to really kill ships right now. Yeah, honestly, one thing I'm noticing is I think Gaussman's playing slightly faster because I'm seeing Herpix pause a little bit more than Gaussman, but I think his stronger weapons are making up for that slightly slower uh, oh, he's going. To, he's going to the good store here. Oh no, that's not the same store. Oh, mm. he needs more DPS. He got that Sector Seven long range scanners, you know, just in time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could really do with another, just even like another single heavy laid. Oh, he did get the scanners. He did get the. He scanners. did get them. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. he just clicked them. <laughs> even like another single heavy laser or something for him would be very helpful right now. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Herpix also has uh, five engine power, but still no backup battery. So I don't know if he's planning on microing his power around a lot or if that's just insurance. So I'm not quite sure why he's invested that so much if he doesn't have the power for it. Yeah, he'll probably just uh, buy a whole bunch of power at some point. Yeah, he should probably just put his shields down to one, though, and just put it all into into engines for now. Oh, he's got, uh-huh. he's got level four shields now. Four shields. Okay. All right. Wow. Herpix is getting these uh, one shots in. Very impressive to see. Uh, I, I will say I'm a little nervous with his keep with his lower health. I'm sure he's calculating with all his cloaking and Zoltan shields, but that makes me nervous sticking around that 11 health there. Yeah, it was a little bit nerve wracking uh, before he had the cloaking, but he did not fix too much up at the store because it did have the cloaking, and he should be, you know, as long as he manages it okay, he should be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just hit one repair. You usually can count on hitting, on average, probably like 1.6 repair stations in Sector 8. You really should at least be able to hit one. <laughs> Carry the 3.55 percentage of points <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's on average you hit probably, you know, a little over a repair station if you average all your runs. When you hit zero, that's just really bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, which I'm pretty sure I've been hitting zero on most of my runs lately. Just, you know, yeah. casual, normal Yeah, well, that sounds right FTL for you, energy. bad luck, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Cloaking, the uh, the bane of... They're both fighting the exact same ship. They are. This is crazy. They are so neck and neck. This is amazing. <laughs> and this is going to be one of those spots where uh, I don't think that Gaussman has a one-shot, but uh, Herpix definitely does once hacking mm-hmm. completes. Based on the uh, scoring for the tournament, if they finish at the same time, it'll come down to who has the higher FTL score. Mm -hmm. Right. So there will be a winner one way or the other. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get an exactly the same score. I I feel like with the way the scoring is done, that's just not possible. I think it can be within 0.1% or something, but... Yeah, yeah. Theoretically, I guess it could... Yeah, I... Practically, no, it's not going to yeah, happen. A negligible chance to to do that. But I will say, uh, wow, Sector 7, Rebel Stronghold, that can be a really good scrap gain sector, too. So they're both probably going to be finishing up their builds really strong here. Yeah, I mean, level so four, much scrap. Level 4 shields for her picks at this point is a huge investment, and he's been able to make that investment. So it tells you he's gotten a lot of scrap this run, which he should have a good score. Yeah, that's it's kind of amazing comparing their two systems. Herpix has level eight shields and level eight weapons versus uh what is what does Gaussman have? Only you know, six points in shields and was that seven power and weapons? Three, four, five. Only six with the value point though. So Yeah, he, he actually had the money to already spend on a buffer weapons. Yep. I'm curious if he has um actually been shorted because he's been spending money on repairs. I don't know if he's stayed this high health because of repairing or if uh, he's just not taking as much damage, but uh, he does seem like he's had less scrap with this lower, uh, lower amount of system upgrades. Yeah. These, uh, any of these fights, I think he's been spending money on, on, on uh, some money on repairs. Cause yeah, these, his fights are just going longer and like these little, just little bits of damage here and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And, All right, uh, Herpix first into Sector 8. Yep. Yeah, his, you, you could see in this fight where they're fighting the same ships, you can see Herpix takes them out in one shot. Yep. And it's an advantage for him right now. You can just see it. Gaussman debating if he takes the extra scrap. He is. So Herpix, is, he's looking strong. He is honestly looking like he is ahead in time and possibly ahead in scrap. 
Yeah, yeah. I thought he was behind for a little while. Herpix was um, when Gaussman already had the cloaking, the mind control, and he just hadn't really found another weapon yet. But he was set up to really rush through this quickly. And then Herpix took those weapons, didn't get the systems until later, and now he's in a stronger position because of it. Yeah, I'm not sure if Herpix is going to be able to get a, another repair station. So unless he gets an event on the way to the to the base, he might be fighting it with uh, a bit with of a handicap. 20 HP. Mm -hmm. Should be okay. Should be. It should be with doable the, with the yeah. level three cloaking. Yeah, he's probably yeah, still he's... fine. I'll, just that sector th or that phase three he doesn't have that mind control counter or the clone bay that you were talking about, Freddie. So that phase three could be rough with boarding. Yeah, phase three. Hopefully, his Zoltan shield will hold out. He does have level three cloaking already which mm -hmm. tells you how much scrap he's getting and with the zoltan shields <laughs> ooh, that was a big deal with the zoltan shields the creator, yeah. and the level three cloaking you know he should be able to maintain the zoltan shield for a very long time Ooh, that's a bad yep. sector layout for sector eight yeah it's a rough one for sure <laughs> they both like have a... 153 scrap right now <laughs> Well, it's looking so like at least one, power. possibly more, multiple forced dives for her picks in this final sector, which is always rough. Yeah, what's that, the dives are the dives are safe, you know, with the hacking and the cloaking together. The dives are pretty safe. It's annoying to see when you want fights and score, but oh, he just got eight. Her picks just got eight eight hole repair for free there. Nice. Oh, that's that's pretty huge, especially since he's going through a couple dives. But with the level three cloaking. The dives aren't scary. It's more the time that I think those would take. Yep. And actually, with the format, you, oh, he's doing a cheeky swipe. Herbix is going for cheeky. Yeah, there you go. It works. There you go. Uh, that's There's your cheeky. Good. Beautiful. Got it. <laughs> I will say, I was saying that uh, Herbix had more scrap, but what I didn't realize is he doesn't have my since he doesn't have my control or backup battery. That's a bunch of scrap he didn't spend. So that might be part of the uh, scrap disp discrepancy there as well. Got Reddit engines now. He's going for the yeah. big engines. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. He's going to he's gonna take this ship out. I was about to say this. Uh, you know, with the way the scoring is, the higher you can get your score, if you have to dive, you might as well fight the ship, get the kill, and get the little bit of extra score, which is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Really sick ship here. Very well played. One, two, three, didn't, four, five, I think six. he missed one of the hits on the cheeky swipe, didn't quite get it, so he just decided to not fight the ship and just left. Yeah. What I love to do... He get a little bit frustrated here. He's. I don't know if he thinks maybe he's behind at this point because of his damage, but he's kind of shaking his head with the layout at Sector 8, I think. Yeah, that's, that's probably what he's noticing. I like to count the amount of power on dive ships on their weapons so I can rage at them having more than eight weapon power, and I'm pretty sure four... Seven. For sure, that was a nine power weapon system he just fought. So just just throwing that out there for that nine, ten power dive ships on their weapons. Yeah, it did the ship a lot of good too when it when it died <laughs> to the uh, double halberd bike beam too. That's right. All right. Okay, so Gaussman, yeah, he's getting close. I think he might take a shorter route to the flagship. That might help him catch up a bit here. Herpix should get a one shot here. So let's see if he pulls it off. Mm-hmm. He is pausing to get the beam swipe. Uh... Yeah, he's got a one shot without any cheeky swipes here, so he should be good. Yeah, just hurry up and swipe, buddy. There you go. It's there good. you go. Oh, swipe, swipe. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I, to really... I, I totally understand. It is so nerve wracking when you have one <laughs> shot, and it's just like if I if I mess this up, I'm going to die or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not setting up for kidnap strats. Okay, I don't know if maybe he doesn't know this strategy, but that Did he follow him is for the second? Crucial. Oh, he just jumped into phase two. Kidnap strats when you have a squishy crew like this could be very crucial. I he don't know if he'll be punished for this. He shouldn't hope, have to be not. boarded at all because the third phase of the flagship fires, you know, the three lasers, three missiles. So. What you can do with level three cloaking, is, especially with the beam setup, because you can keep firing and it doesn't shorten your cloak time, is um, right before the third missile were to hit you, assuming you got hit with all five shots before that, or four, before the second missile hits you, assuming you got hit with all four shots, you can cloak level three. Okay. And you can cloak not only that missile, but also the power surge. Okay, that's it's what like, he's doing right now. He's got he's the Reddit engines, here. level three yep. cloaking, see if it lasts for that overcharge. 
Especially with 3Ds, you just have to have slow down your cloak. The yep. thing about Kidnap Stratch, it doesn't really cost you time, and I always set up for it because you can get unlucky, take a lot of hits, and get like a, a fire. See, he's got now he's got pilot. Yeah, the cloak. It's okay. Cloak. This is this he's is. It. It's fine. It. It's fine. Okay, yeah. he's still I'm got nervous. The I'm always nervous. This is nervous. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So you got, so got the one shot. Get it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Nice job. So it's gonna be time when the uh, flagship finished blowing up. Is that right? Uh, Already done. It's already time. Okay. Time is fifty-three. Okay. Wow, that's a that's a. Okay, and Herpix, make sure you don't move your desktop so that we can uh, keep everything captured correctly. Gaussman is on finishing phase one of the boss right now. Looks like doesn't have that one shot. That's it's going to cost him a little bit of time not having those triple beams. Very nice run from Herpix there. I was very yeah. very impressed with both their plays actually. Well, I guess uh, not having that mind control didn't hurt him. He he really handled that phase three quite well. Yep, I think Zoltan Shield it just didn't come into come to be a factor. Mm -hmm. All right, there's phase one down for Gaussman. Only took one damage. He's looking a little more pristine with the ship, just a little bit slower since he doesn't have that Gaussman that double halberd. Gaussman took phase one not even at the base there. He's he's taking it. He's trying to catch up a little bit in time possibly mm -hmm. trying to go quickly here oh he is taking an extra fight here for score okay okay which i mm -hmm. do i do approve of that's the strategy i've been doing so far you've been taking some extra fights in the final sector for score yeah because you get so much money and they're they're so valuable mm -hmm. yeah as long as you can kill the them as long as you can kill them quick it's good yeah, his DP. Imagine if he had had a uh, Halbert as well. It'd be um, he's so tight, man. I just can't even imagine. But his yeah, his volley's a little bit slower. Yeah, Herpik's weapon setup was absolutely crushing everything. <laughs> I just love that triple beam setup so much. I uh, since I've been playing Harba no pause, I I have been undervaluing beams because of the extra micro they require for every swipe. But it sounds like for the tournament that the DPS is just worth taking that that little extra micro time. Yeah, for the micro for sure. Yeah, to ensure you get the the one shot in, as opposed to having to swipe swipe again. Pausing's mm -hmm. good. I got to retrain myself to pause. <laughs> Hacking trick employed by Gaussman here. If you haven't seen that, you can pause the hacking drone to get through the defense drone and cause the defense drone to miss. And when you depower, your hacking drone stops. Oh, his cloaking ran a little quick here. Is he going to take... Ooh, he's oh, taking yeah, some damage from his drone damage. Base. That boarding drone. Give him a little bit of trouble, but looks like... Ooh, don't yeah, lose he's that. He's got Zoltan. a hole in his doors. He can't Oof, react. Good move, on the, good move on the Zoltan. Yeah. Last possible second. He kept him alive. That's really good. He's at two shields. Okay, that cloaking mm. came up just in time. Oh, his hacking. His hacking has been down to level one. He can't really get through. Yeah, you can see him shaking his head. The hacking timing has been either a little off or it's been taking damage to not quite be able to do it. Ooh, he's having a rough time this phase, too. He's got to get his hacking up or he, he won't be able to. He could consider jumping here. Jump. Probably yeah, jump. yeah. Oh, Ooh, there's that repair no got no. taken over. No safe. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's not looking good. Okay, cloaking was up for the missile. He needs this next hacking to kill him, or at yeah. least take some of that offense offline. Okay, oh, well, got some kills. True kills here. But this, oof, that low health. Do his heal is on fire. You see Herbix's score on the left: sixty-two Ooh. forty-seven. Disgusting. In fifty-two minutes, that's a crazy <laughs> good disgusting. score. Three health on Gossman. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he did it. Gossman didn't get the uh, phase two kill here. Oh, that is a quadruple fire on the heel bay. His door's <laughs> he's offline. Got, he's got a couple of fires. Uh, I'd actually turn the O2 off right now so that those fires spread a little slower. I, don't, I would know. install a chimney in the med bay room to get rid of the fire. <laughs> yeah. But if that fire spreads the sensors, he might... Fire, that he, fire he, might, he might actually yeah he doesn't need actually his damage is his hull is so low he doesn't need the extra damage here and the and the cloaking from the fire that's an extra damage if his uh, uh clone cloaking or burns. cloaking burns down oh god oh that's oh two so frustrating oh, to have oh, happen oh, oh, oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. To get to the final phase of the boss fight. So oh, how do you get oh, an oxygen mask? Yeah. That's <laughs> GG. Oh, oh, oh so frustrating. I, and you know what it came down to? He had a great ship, uh, DPS. And he couldn't get the missiles down and it just just wasn't quite there. I would say the DPS is a little bad score. RNG, a little bad RNG with the, I, I think it might've been missile hits in his hacking because his hacking was down that second phase. And I think that's what really messed up his volleys not getting through. Yeah, that was that really unfortunate. Bad RNG on that phase too with the hacking going down. Yep. 5,200 score, um, big score difference and Gaussman very close to getting the flagship kill, but did not. So I think, I think we pretty clearly have a winner here. Yeah, I believe uh, Kassian will just still do the numbers to give us the exact tourney score. But uh, we are going to take a short break here as we get uh, scoring figured out and we get set up to have an interview uh, with these awesome players who I think both played really well. Very. Uh, yeah, lots of really good plays. Despite yeah, really that kind of disappointing ending for Gaussman, both had really good plays. So we're going to go on a short little break here, and we'll be right back, our friends, to talk to these awesome players. We'll see you in just a bit.
All righty, my friends. We are back to interview both these awesome players, Gaussman and Herpik's name is missing, but Herpik's right o- over my head right here, uh, who had both amazing runs. I think all three of casters here uh, were pretty impressed. Would you say, Freddie and uh, Billy, that we had some pretty awesome plays in this run? Yeah. I was very impressed, and I really appreciated when you guys were late game and had very similar ships and we're in sector seven and you're both fighting the same ship at the same time and it's like (laughs) who's gonna win yeah it's really it was really really great there's like a lot of other really small stuff that like you know people that don't know ftl like at all like might not even notice you know just like just general uh event knowledge and stuff like that like both just did really great in, in in all of that and uh and like not to mention just there's like a lot of just small decisions that like you don't know what's going to come back to bite you, but they're both, they're all like good decisions and hard, hard to say what's good. Well, let's, um, before we talk to the players, let's reveal the score. I think we know from the uh, results, how, how it turned up, but let's, uh, if, uh, if Kassalian's got the score ready, uh, we'll go ahead and reveal that because Herpix and the Gaussman both had a great run. Herpix was a 53-minute run with an FTL score of 62.47. So tournament score is 242.81. And then Gaussman That's... had the 52.69 in 57 minutes. Honestly, both pretty fast runs. But yeah. because he got killed in that sector, or that phase two boss fight was a lower score. Let's talk first to Gaussman. Monitor- I've Go been ahead. monitoring just real quick. I've been monitoring some of the scores and doing practice runs. The 242 is the highest one I've heard of. That is a really high score. It's very, very good. So that is, uh, I want to talk to Herpix in a second, but Gaussman first, just talk about that second phase of the boss fight. Cause you were, you had a really smooth run and then you got to that final, uh, well, the second phase of the boss and those, those drones kind of took you out. What happened there? Mm, I mean, I, I played no, no pause. Like maybe that's, and like when you when something goes wrong in phase two, it can be really really bad. And like with especially with only with only three shields. And I I mean I have to rewatch it, but I I'm pretty sure that I made a couple mistakes with um, with cloak timings. And then I messed up like hacking at least once. And yeah, so that was that was gonna be my well, question. The, yeah, because the, the hacking. hacking was level yeah. one, and I think it had gone down. I think you had taken a missile or something had happened. Do you recall that happening? I like. Uh, I know that the, I, the 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 drone shot my hacking on like the first time, and I don't know. Like the first hacking was okay, and then like after that, uh, it was it was like damaged, and it was mm-hmm. not easy to repair. It. Um, yeah, and then I I actually messed one up at least. I don't know. Like. So you had bad. a boarding drone in your, I think, shields as well. So you had a lot of stuff kind of go really bad on that phase too. I would yeah, say. Yeah, the, the problem uh, was also that I like my weapon setup was like for like as I said, like for for the mid game it was okay, but for late game it was not good enough. And yeah, I mean it's and also I can't really do anything with uh, without hacking. That's pretty bad. And that my and my first volley is also like not that strong. So yeah. But I mean, it's it's definitely possible. Like, I should win that that uh, flagship fight like nine out of if ten. If you'd times. maybe taken a little slower, maybe pause. Do you think you probably would have been able to come, overcome that? I'm thinking. Uh also with all, I, I'm I I've, <laughs> I've actually not, not played pause in a long time. But <laughs> also on no pause, I think I I think I will I win that fight like most of the time. But I don't did know. the like, uh, is... tournament pressure or nerves? Yeah, a, 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 little bit, a little bit maybe. But I mean, it's not a, not a, not like. I mean, this is what I'm more surprised is about the score difference because like one K score is like yeah, that's actually a lot, but maybe maybe it's because I took a lot of NG sectors, which is I don't know maybe maybe that's not 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 good, but yeah. Yeah, the I'm, score I'm, difference is high. It is surprising too because it seemed like you guys took the same path a lot of the time. So I am curious as to why it's so so. High. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty curious to to rewatch like my run and also like uh, the other runs. So. Yeah, we'll have to look at what the um, scrap gains were because I have a feeling like that's going to be the major difference is the scrap gains, which brings me to her picks. You had a pretty insane run. That rating of 242.81 uh, uh, tournament score is pretty crazy. How did you feel about your run? Did you think that you had that high of a score going in there? Um, I'll be honest. 
uh, first sector, I thought you guys were trolling me. <laughs> like the <laughs> first jump asteroid field. And the yeah. sun, another asteroid field. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. Like a challenge. It wasn't us trolling you. It turns out it was FTL trolling you. It turns out. Surprise, okay. FTL hates you. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, sector two, I believe, the, which I visited store was a uh, really important decisions there, and the time pressure really kicked in. I was like, I couldn't think, think straight <laughs> at all it, uh, to what to do. I uh, I managed to buy the flak and the Hubbard beam instead of using the heavy laser. I thought it's a more safe up, safer approach because I I wouldn't miss many shots because of the Hubbard beam. Mm -hmm. And I was really hoping to buy that hacking in a, another sector. Well, what I will say is it was a bit of a troll when I saw uh, you both get asteroid fields and solar flares within the first four jump sector one. <laughs> but then I saw two stores with a flak and a halberd beam. And I'm like, well, there's the trade off because yeah. those are some pretty crazy weapons in those uh, in those stores. What made you decide go for the double halberd? Was it because you had already picked up the hacking when you went for that choice? Um, Actually, I was uh, I wanted to go faster, not like a speed run faster, but uh, to make a one shot kill for the means. <laughs> and when I <laughs> when I got the glaive beam, I was like, oh man, <laughs> I want to use that, but then it wouldn't be that good. Yeah, uh, we saw you hovering that glaive beam. Uh, I think Billy Kirby. We had talked a little bit about halberd versus glaive beam. Would you have used the glaive beam, or were you stuck with the halberds there? Uh, no, I would. I wouldn't have used it. It's it's it's, yeah. it's interesting mm -hmm. enough, but like it's it's so much more risky. You have to wait the full twenty yeah. seconds for it. Like it, even with, with the guy. Yeah. Well, well, twenty with the with the guy yeah. mastered in weapons. The problem with glaive is that you have to wait two cloak cycles to shoot. Yeah, if if he if he if he for even a moment didn't have the guy piloting, you know, you lose five literally five seconds on your uh, guy manning if he's yeah, not yeah. manning the weapon. So, no. yeah, it definitely would have been way more risky. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I actually wanted to get a pig igniter somewhere, but uh, I didn't find any stores. Yeah, didn't quite get the full meme. I will say, Herpix, I noticed once you had the double halber beam, you're doing some of those cheeky swipes. Were you doing that on some of those ships? Um, I tried. I uh, never really used it, so sometimes it didn't work. <laughs> but you were you were really one shotting a lot of ships, and like we said, there was a really close run. What I one thing I will notice is you were taking some pauses sometimes. Were you purposely taking pauses for some of your swipes there? Uh, yes, because I was a little bit nervous, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I gotta totally say. Understand. It didn't show. You both you played really well, and that score, 53 minutes, 62-47, that's, that's kind of a good benchmark I think a lot of people can see for a really competitive score right there. His rating score is the highest I've seen out of probably close to 100 runs or so. So congratulations. That's great. Thank well, I, I want to say thank you to both of you. Congratulations, Herpix, for getting a practice win. Uh, I hope this is, will be a good practice for the actual tournament. Are you excited after doing this, or are you going to have the nerves work through the nerves now? Uh, I think both. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to to the tournament. Well, that's awesome. Thank you for participating, Gaussman. Thank you. You had a great run, except for the way it ended. So was this good practice? Do you think you'll be able to get over the nerves if you practice uh, your, yeah, your definitely, runs going definitely. forward? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of a fan of the... Um, it's a heavy laser too, but maybe <laughs> I should not not keep it next time. But yeah, it you just need a few less dodges on. on your enemies. You know, they're just dodging too many heavy lasers, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but thank you again to both Herpix and Gaussman for being a part of this. Billy Kirby, thank you so much for being part of the cast and being a guest. I hope you had a good time. I did. I love FTL so much. It's always great to be around other people that love FTL too. So it's just uh, just a pleasure. Just really enjoyed myself. Well, and I'm excited to have you be a part of the tournament and play too. And I think we'll have you probably as a guest caster again during the tournament if you're available. Absolutely. All right, cool. We are going to take a uh, little break here again, I believe, before getting ready for the next matchup, which is going to be between Pie Boy and Farb. So you all hang out and we will be back in just a bit for that second match. <laughs> 